Hey guys, my name's Andrew Eucles and I've got a very important message to tell you after this video. Johnny! <laughs> they are absolutely terrifying. Help me. And sometimes we capturing animals. <laughs> These skunks. I've been around the world a couple of times and maybe more. Seen the sights, I've had the lights on every foreign shore. But when the mates all ask me the place that I had I tell them right away. What do we tell them? Give me a home among the gum trees with lots of plum trees. A sheep, a two, a kangaroo, a clothesline out the back, veranda out the front, and an old rocking chair. You can see me in the kitchen cooking up a roast. And later on, we'll settle down and get out on the porch And watch the possums play There's a side by up the corner and the woolies down the street And a brand new place they've oh, opened up and they let you like the heat But I trade them all tomorrow for a little bush retreat With a cork of arrows called <laughs> Give me a home among the gum trees With lots of plum trees a sheep, a two, a kangaroo, a clothesline out the back, veranda out the front, and an old rocking chair. That's the Bushmaster! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to give him a hug. Ah! Until they latch on like that! Ah, sh My name is Andrew Euclid and I'm a passionate conservationist and wildlife enthusiast. Firstly today I would like to acknowledge the Aboriginal people of the land and in particular the Aboriginal people of Arnhem Land for their continuing efforts for their wildlife, their land, the water, their culture and their traditions. I would like to pay my respect to the Aboriginal elders both from the past, the present and continuing. Uh, today, I'm going to be the first documented man to attempt to walk across Arnhem Land from the East Coast into Catherine, using both self-taught methods of survival and methods taught to me by the Aboriginal people. Now, some of you are probably asking, well, where is Arnhem Land? Arnhem Land is essentially Australia's last wild frontier. Imagine an Amazon down under. In the northeastern corner of the Northern Territory, we have a landscape which has been somewhat unchanged. It is the last frontier. A dangerous and treacherous landscape. And so some of you are probably saying, well, why would someone want to risk their life to do something like this? My answer would be simple. I'm scared of it. I've got a fear. But it's not just a voyeuristic, personalised mission of trying to achieve this. There's a greater message behind this. I believe we need to connect future generations back with wildlife because we are losing that connection with nature. You can see it in today's society. And so part of this walk is a pledge. It's a pledge to the public to bring about the issues that we're facing in today's environment, the issues that we're facing, which are relative, which are going to affect us for the future. So we have to do something about it. And it's my mission and my purpose to bring people closer to nature and I'm going to do that. Thank you.